Good afternoon, welcome back to Lynch TV with me, Sam Phillips. I'm joined by Runcle Manager Callum McIntyre. Carl Heck for joining us. Um, where do we start? A deflating 2 1 defeat uh, against Marine in the playoff final. How do you reflect on that in the direct aftermath? Start by congratulating Marine, congratulating Neil Young and his team on promotion. Uh, I spoke just before Christmas uh, that I I thought they were in a position where they'd go on and win the league. Um, for of circumstances, I meant that hasn't happened. So we congratulate them and wish them all the best next season. Um, start by reflecting on the game. Uh, I don't think either team ever had control. I think who was on top might have um, sort of flipped between one and the other. I thought we had the best of the opening exchanges. Uh, well worked corner, and then ultimately probably got to do more with some openings rather than opportunities. In the second half, um, Marine are able to bring on some very, very good players off their bench that will walk into any side at this level. Um, and then it, it turns, doesn't it, with the goal from one each. It looked like Marine were on top. That's experience, that's them um, limiting our opportunities as well. Only mentioned about opportunities. Um, the non-award of a penalty in the 93rd minute is the, the worst non-decision I've seen this season. But we move on. There were 93 other minutes played in the game where the game doesn't really hinge on, on one moment. Yeah, now we look sort of away from this game and take the, the season as a whole. You must be proud to lead this group of players, this club and this town to the heights that you've led us this season. Yeah, I think there will... I hope, I really hope there will be a point where I'm able to reflect a little bit more articulately and with a little bit more clarity as to what a season it's been because I, I was aware of what a season it's been um, before today's game. Right now it feels like the world's ended. It feels like something that you put your heart and your soul into, that you've fallen up short, that you've let a lot of people down. I, I feel that like I have to as the manager, um, so I won't hide that from you. What I am clear on when you use the word pride is two things. I'm so proud of the group of players and what they've achieved this season. To have made a playoff final, been 90 minutes away from promotion, to the you know the highest finish that this football club's ever had. And genuinely, if we'd have won promotion, it'd have been a, a new era for everyone. Um, and I'm really, really proud of them. And I'm proud to have led them. They've been unbelievable. They've been unbelievable two nights a week. They've been unbelievable on a Saturday. Um, I use the word adore. I, I adore them. I love them. I I can't. I will struggle to put that into words. Whether that is our older lads that have been the experienced cause to what we've needed, our younger lads in senior football for the first time, and those that came and got on the journey. We, we just came up short for something that for many was a dream. But I'm I'm so proud of them. And equally, this football club to have seen the gates rise, to have seen. Um, so many first times the first time this has happened the first time that has happened to have had the FA Cup and, and sort of getting where we got on the, the big occasion here um, genuinely I'm so proud of all those people behind the scenes that make match day happen that make this football club run and I'm so proud of the supporters that home and away have been incredible and again today they were right behind us even amongst their disappointment that they'll have because their football team has missed out on something that they all wanted uh, they were there to show their, their recognition for what the players have done. So that I can reflect on. Um, but like I say, for me, this is this is new. It's a new feeling of, of disappointment, a different type of disappointment. What well, I came into this job, honestly, just, just speaking as me and not trying to say the right thing because I wanted to, to go and try and do something and do something in senior football. I didn't just want to be seen as a youth coach. I wanted to go away from somewhere where I'd always been and almost have my neck on the line. Uh, it wasn't well received. I remember all that stuff. It was a, a really lonely summer in the build-up from being appointed to the first game because you felt you were being judged on social media rather than uh, a football team out on the pitch or your capabilities because of the way everything the pandemic and that was a really lonely spell um, I've put my heart my soul into this football club that had never heard of me 18 months ago every time I've been here even when I'm not here I've just been trying to get the football club where we want it to be and we've just come up short and Lord, I'm, I'm sorry for those people that we've we missed out on that but genuinely uh, we've done everything we can and I've I will at some point reflect with pride that those people that told me we were going to get relegated or won't last 10 games, but we look silly tonight. 
honestly, because that hurt me, and I hope how wrong you were hurts you just as much. So, like I say, at some point, reflect on that and um, and try and move forwards. Perfect. Well, on behalf of everyone at the club, thank you for what you, the lads, have done. It's been an unbelievable season, a journey that every single person's enjoyed. And try and reflect on the next couple of weeks, and we'll speak to you again in, in the pre-season. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank you.